After months of waiting for the green light, the Mrs. Nebraska America and Miss Nebraska for America pageant took place at the Scottish Rite Center here in Omaha after the health department told them they could go for it. 3 News Now reporter Daniel Davis gives us a look at what it was like putting together a pageant during a pandemic. Good morning, Courtney. The Mrs. and Miss Nebraska pageants were originally supposed to take place in April. Then it got pushed back till June and then that got canceled as well. But it finally took place this weekend and it's actually one of the very few pageants that has taken place across the country. The gowns, glitz and glamour all halted due to COVID-19. But with some changes, the months of preparing and waiting paid off. With that, we had to cut capacity to 50%, so we were able to hold about 250 people, I believe, here. And then we obviously also encouraged people in the audience and family and friends to go ahead and live stream it, so that way people that weren't able to get tickets and be here could still feel like they were a part of it and see what was going on. Every other row was roped off with no one allowed to sit. And masks had to be worn by those in the audience. So they broke it up into, uh, I believe it was three groups. And so each group, my group had four, and then the other two groups had five contestants. So they just kind of split it up. Judges also wore masks and were separated by full tables in between their groups. As husbands sat in the audience taking care of the kids, the ladies finally took to the stage. We tried to keep them in the loop as much as possible, and so I want to say probably at least in the last month they kind of knew that this was the date and just keep working towards, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And then finally it was like, yes, it's really going to happen. So they were all prepared and so ready. So it was very much um, being open to change and just going with the flow is really what it all ended up being about. As it is normal for only one lady to be the center of attention on stage, not too many changes had to be done there. Now for a full list of the winners and runner-up, visit our 3 News Now website. Now the national competition is scheduled to take place in Las Vegas, but that's been pushed back because it was actually supposed to take place this past weekend as well with the new date to be determined. This is Danielle Davis, 3 News Now This Morning. Courtney, 